It's the 2014 Kia Soul, one of my favorites in the compact crossover market, and it is award winner. It won the Automobile Journalists Association of Canada's Best Family Vehicle for under $30,000, and it's a Red Dot Award winner, and that's in design. Now, if you win a Red Dot, that's basically like winning an Academy Award when it comes to design. Peter Schreier is the head designer of Kia, and he's done a fantastic job infusing a certain character and personality into the Kia products, and no vehicle has more personality personality in the Kia lineup than the Soul. Now updated for 2014, it's just a, a tad longer and a tad wider, but what they did is they dropped the roof line down by about a centimeter and it makes the vehicle look maybe just a little less boxy and with the updates to the front grille and the back, it definitely looks more cohesive. Around the back, it didn't have the black lower portion. It was basically all kind of one monochromatic look and now with the black on the bottom, it lifts the vehicle up a little bit. It doesn't look as long. It definitely looks chunkier. Uh, this is the SX with the premium package. It's just under $27,000 fully loaded. And when I show you what you get on the inside, I think it's going to boggle your mind. Prices start around $17,000. As I mentioned, this fully loaded one is around uh, $27,000 and a nice looking vehicle. Prices differ depending on what kind of features you get. This one has the top of the line polished wheels. It's got uh, HID headlamps. It's got LED tail lamps. It also has a huge panoramic sunroof. Now, speaking of the back, we're going to open up the trunk here and show you that this is a fairly roomy vehicle in the back. The cargo area isn't cramped like some hatchback cars, for example. There's a big storage area under the floor as well. Of course, you can flip and fold those seats. Overall, this vehicle is an alternative for somebody that's shopping for a compact car but wants a little bit more room and somebody that's also shopping for a compact SUV. This offers everything you could really want in a small SUV. The only thing it doesn't have is all wheel drive. Now, as we get going here, we should talk about some of the major competitors. The Nissan Cube would be one, the XB from Scion, maybe the, even the XD. And this car really is so much better than those. Uh, the Cube doesn't have a lot of features in it. You can't get a sunroof, for example. Um, you know, heated seats are an issue. The uh, XB is really an old product now that they've reskinned and tried to do their best with it. But this is fresh and modern on the inside, and really nothing else competes if you want this kind of shape. Maybe a Toyota Matrix a little bit. But you know what? But this product has two engines. There's a 1.6 liter four cylinder engine, and that has 130 horsepower. That's only sold on the base unit, and it starts out with a manual transmission. So that's how they get that base price down to just around $17,000. 130 horsepower, four cylinder engine, manual transmission. Now, on all the other trim levels, you get the two liter direct injection gasoline engine, and that has 164 horsepower and a six speed automatic transmission. And it really does a great job. Uh, you can get away from a light with no problem. It cruises around town. And now they've made improvements to this 2014 model that make it better to live with every single day. Noise, vibration, harshness, all things that Kia targeted with this vehicle. They've isolated the front suspension to have less vibration come into the cabin. It's quieter. They reinforce the structure of the vehicle to make it more rigid. That makes the car handle better. Now this isn't going to be a car you take on a rally cross but you know what you know jumping in and out of traffic around town it really is fantastic because you've got this great commanding view around you you've got 164 horsepower which is perfectly fine for every average day commuter and it does a and it has a very comfortable, quiet, and refined interior. So what's not to like about it? And I come back to that point again. You know, a lot of these uh, small SUVs, like the CRV, the RAV4, what have you, they all start around 27,000. You can get this car kitted out with everything in it, fully loaded for the same price. Now, one of the main reasons I recommend this car to a lot of people is it's very easy to get in and out of. The doors are big, the seats sit a little bit higher, and even though this car has a really edgy avant-garde look on the outside, a lot of older people, baby boomers, like this vehicle because of the space that it offers and getting in and out. As you get older, it gets harder to get in and out of a vehicle. And when you're inside, you have a look and see exactly what Kia is doing right. And there's no wonder that this car has already won awards. It has a beautiful interior that is fitted with materials and textures and just the way it's all put together that you typically don't see in this class of vehicle. Remember, this competes with compact cars starting at around $17,000. Now this one, as I mentioned, is fully loaded. It has the huge eight inch navigation screen with backup camera. 
If you don't get this top SX model with the premium package, you get the UVO system with the backup camera. Regardless, it's fabulous in here. Now, this is a full splash model. It's got everything in it, just under $27,000. Let's run through the things you get in a vehicle of this size and this price. The big screen is one thing, navigation, satellite radio, heated steering wheel, heated front seats, and also ventilated front seats, not just for the driver, but also for the passenger. In the back, you get heated seats, and also this huge panoramic sunroof over top. It's got USB connectivity, it's got 12 volt outlets, it's got automatic folding outside mirrors, it goes on and on and on. It's got a push button start, you don't need the key to get in the vehicle, so all of that's going on for uh, just under uh, $27,000. That's a lot of car for the money. And one thing I want to bring up, if you do not need an SUV with all wheel drive, this vehicle, the size that it has, lots of room in the back seat, great outward visibility might be an option because really sometimes people overbuy and think that all-wheel drive is what they really need when in fact really all you need are good winter tires. Now I have long been a fan of the Soul. I have put so many people into this product and they're very happy easy to get in and out of, great outward visibility, and now there's updates, there's two engine choices, it definitely rides better, it's got a fantastic interior when you get the top of the range model like this one, it really is fantastic. Now do yourself a favor, really think about what you need in a little city runabout. Do you really need an all-wheel drive SUV? Trust me, you put the proper winter tires on any front-wheel drive vehicle, use the gray matter between your ears, and you can get pretty much anywhere if you drive sensibly. So if you don't need all-wheel drive or you're shopping for just a front-wheel drive SUV, this is definitely a vehicle to look at. Now Kia also has won a residual value award, meaning that this Kia Soul will hold its value better than many of its competitors in this class. So it's a winner. It looks good. It's an award winner for not only Ajax, also Red Dot Design Award, fantastic interior, and apparently it's going to hold its value.